not eat back our words. Because that goes against the very fundamentals and the very meaning of our faith. The very trademark of a believer is amana. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala refers to Islam in the Quran as al amana Because Islam itself is a trust that we have been given by Allah to live by. We were born with it as a state of fitrah. Then it was handed down of the trust, of trustworthiness, holding on to the truth and refusing to betray it. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam equates iman and faith with amana. And he says, لا إيمان لمن لا أمانة له There is no iman with the person who has no amana, no trust, no trustworthiness. There is no iman. Where is Allah as we are giving a false image about Islam? When we break the law, when we misbehave, when we only care about ourselves and forget about everyone else. Where is Allah when we call ourselves Muslims and we're misbehaving and we're going against Islam? Where is this trust? Because when you hold the trust of Allah, you are supposed to resemble it. You are, when you call yourself a Muslim, but you call yourself a Muslim and you cheat, you call yourself a Muslim and you lie, you call yourself a Muslim and you break the law, you, you call yourself a Muslim and you seek means around the system, you call yourself a Muslim, you take advantage of people, that's all against the amana and the trust. That's all against our religion. That's against our way of life. Important information from their future spouse. That they are supposed by Islam, by the law of Islam, to reveal. They hold it back. Then it gets exposed later on. And problems ensue. And the marriage is at risk. And then the other person is blamed for being oversensitive. There's so many cases like this in our community. Why lie? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes the believers by saying, وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ لِأَمَانَاتِهِمْ وَعَهْدِهِمْ رَاعُونَ They are the ones that preserve and observe their oaths, their covenants, their agreements, and the sense of trust. So they are trustworthy. They never betray the trust. When you backbite someone, you're betraying. In our exams, when we cheat in our transactions, when we cheat the system, when we cheat the traffic system, when we cheat our brothers and sisters, when we cheat our wives, when we cheat our husbands, when we lie to our children, when we make a promise and never fulfill it, when we borrow money and never give it back, where is Allah? Where is Anna? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Al-Majalisu bil amana Meetings, conversations, have a seal of trust on them. They should not be revealed. So when you have a private conversation with someone, you're not supposed to reveal it. By default, even if they don't tell you, you are not supposed to reveal it, unless it's public news. It's a, if it's a private conversation, and never betray someone who betrayed you. Never betray someone who betrayed you. So when you fulfill the trust, when you hold on to trustworthiness, and you hold the amana, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will pay you back. And Allah will take care of your affairs. اللهم اغفر للمؤمنين والمؤمنات